I came to this country with a lot of aspiration, ambition, and curiosity for food. Every day I go to work, I'm just as curious and excited as I was when I started when I was 18 years old. And to do it in America, where it's such a diverse landscape of people, customers, cooks, servers, it makes it exciting. When we designed this restaurant, many things drew me to Harlem. First of all, I think it's a magical neighborhood. If you look historically, culturally, and you just walk in Harlem from Central Park and up, you see these incredible brownstones. You walk by the Apollo and you think about the history. You see the stylish people. When you come up from the subway stage, people's gonna try to sell you like African soap or a cool hat. So our restaurant is just a reflection of that, the art and the music. I'm extremely excited to partner with U.S. Food. There's so many great things that we can do together. Passion for food is what's gonna combine them. What I love about this collection that we worked on together is that it gives my colleagues and my chef friends a window into foods that they may or may not be very familiar with. Great cured salmon that is consistent, incredible quality. The added spice is a reflection of Ethiopian spices coming together. These are all things that chefs are always intrigued by, but it takes time to make. That's a big deal for a chef, especially if you're a chef that has a smaller kitchen where you have to be the chef, the sous chef, and maybe the morning prep cook as well. You need a purveyor that can really provide consistency and you can trust. The world restaurant means restore your community. So all chefs, we have choices. First of all, where do we get our vegetables? Where do we get our stuff from? I think evolution of food, in the neighborhood you're in, you always look at the chefs in the restaurants and be like, what are they doing? And then that sort of migrates to your home and then you start cooking differently. Remember when Brussels sprouts were not popular and how popular they are today, we kind of started to see that in a combination between farmer's markets and what chefs started to put them on the menu. I think make it means many different things and it's important to take this slogan and own it yourself. For cooks, make it delicious. For chef, it might be, you know what, today I'm gonna to be able to take a day off. I'm gonna learn a new system. I'm gonna try new ingredients. So make it is really a springboard to operating in a better way and each individual really have to sort of self-edit what that means to them. The arms that U.S. Food has to huge operator, but also a small business owner that might not have access to a big city. So to be able to talk to so many different players in the field and hear from our customers, how can they improve their service? How can they improve their menu? That's something that makes me very excited. And I wouldn't be able to do that without U.S. Food.